everybody. Well, this is the big day. This is April the 8th, 2024, and I am right outside my employment at Trent County Realty and Auction in Katy's, Kentucky. We, you can see here we have some listings here in the window, and I am in downtown Katy's. And it's about 10 minutes or so away from what we were supposed to experience. I can already feel the temperature dropping. Now, I don't believe that we are going to actually be in the path of totality. But I can feel the temperature change. I can feel the dustness approach. And uh, look at all these pigs we have down here. Uh, in Katy's, Kentucky, they have a pig on every corner. They do. They have a pig on every corner in Katy's, Kentucky. For a ham fest. Look at Well, that's four pigs right there. Look at that. It's not even on every corner. There's a pig. There's a pig. There's a pig. There's a pig. You just keep going on and on. See if I can't show you the wind blowing the sun right here. Welcome to Katie's Kentucky. But the temperature is certainly dropping, and I did not get those uh, glasses. I didn't get those solar glasses. So I don't have any special solar glasses. So I can't be looking directly at the sun. And I, well, the wind, I mean, you can just tell. It's just, uh, it's, it's about ready to happen. And again, I remember uh, in August of 2017, AJ was five years old and he was in kindergarten. And we had those glasses and we were able to look up with our special glasses. And we were able to, to see the, they called it the diamond effect. They called that the, the diamond effect. See everybody starting to come out now with their glasses. I see somebody with their glasses. Let's see this group of people right here. They have, they have those special glasses. I told you there was a pig on every corner. There's a purple pig right there. They have glasses. There's another pig. See, I'm right across from something called the purple pig. I tell you, uh, Katie's is obsessed with pigs. There's the purple pig. Because we have the ham festival every year. Ham festival, pigs. I cannot believe. AJ will be 12 in May. I just cannot believe that it's been since he was five that we looked up at the eclipse together. That came through Cerulean. It's kind of eerie. Look how eerie it is. There's like no traffic. Look how eerie it is. There's a, like I said, there's two groups of people right here. Well, they act like they're seeing something. They're trading glasses. They're all taking turns with the glasses over there. And there's another group right there. I can definitely feel the shadow coming, but I'm not going to look up in the sky without glasses on myself. It's amazing. It does feel like evening is setting in. Even being in the partial even uh, not being in the totality, but just being in the partial. It's eerie.
People are coming out. Sadly, we had a little bit of shadow cover. It's been about 15 minutes now, and we had a little bit of shadow cover, but that's about it. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna wave at my shadow. Um, can I see my shadow? There we are. We had a little bit of a shadow cover with the eclipse, but now the sun is starting to come back out. So, so reporting from downtown Katy's, Kentucky. Non-eventful. So I'm standing outside my workplace, True County Realty, and it was non-eventful. Not like the path of totality that we had um, in 2017, which I guess that was seven years ago. Non-eventful. But hey, it was kind of fun to see what it was going to do. We had a few onlookers, so we had a few people come out, but that's about it. But at the same time, when I think about it, I've seen um, all day, I've seen things all day about the um, hysteria, the traffic hysteria, the craziness of people traveling, the jammed roadways, the jammed highways and byways, the, the just the craziness, the overall amazing panic the panic that has set in and there's been a great deal of panic set in over this eclipse just uh, the government I think specializes in hyped up panic 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 so I am thankful that even though it was just a small shadow and and I, I didn't get to see a full eclipse at the same time, I'm thankful that I was not involved in all the mass hysteria and the mass panic because there was plenty, plenty of mass panic. Every time I turned on YouTube or I turned on, on any type of screen today, all over social media, all over Instagram, all over Facebook, all over YouTube, uh, just the hysteria of this eclipse. But you know what? I, I know the Lord Jesus Christ and I know that um, I am saved. And I know my Redeemer lives, and all the panic about oh, Jesus is coming back, and Jesus is coming back. Well, here's the thing: no man knows the hour or the day. The Bible says the Bible says that no man knows the hour or the day. So anybody who says that Jesus is coming back, this eclipse means that Jesus is coming back. Uh, you're already a false prophet. You are already a false prophet because the Bible says that no man knows the hour or the day. So, and besides, I know Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. So if he were to return, um, I have no panic or fear over that. So again, um, even though I, I missed a glorious, spectacular eclipse this time around, I saw one seven years ago, I, I missed it this year, but that's okay because I'd rather miss it than be involved in the mass panic and the mass hysteria. And I know, my, I know that my Redeemer lives, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm gonna thank him for just another day. I'm gonna thank him for this April the 8th, 2024. I'm just gonna thank him for another day. And if I live to see tomorrow, that's another day that he's gifted me, so praise the Lord. Well, that's it from Katy's, Kentucky, downtown Katy's, Kentucky for the shadow uh, that reminds me of limitations, the shadow of turning. Um, there is no shadow of turning with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Y'all have a great day in the Lord.